So apparently, this is the second to last heat wave here in Spain. Second to last. That's like saying we haven't been in a heat wave all this time. <laughs> I want winter. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Winnie Reads, where I talk about books and things. And it's hot. It's really, really hot. Like, the fact that I'm wearing clothes is because if not, I would, it would not be safe for children to watch this video. And I, and I don't know if children watch my videos, but just in case. We all know that I've been feeling a little bit down lately. And by a little bit down, I mean a lot down. Like, super down. Like, like, down. But that doesn't mean that I haven't continued to read. And, oh gosh. Wait for my wrap up, you're gonna love it because there's gonna be the ranty ranty of the rantiness coming for you. But today I wanna, I wanna focus on the positive. I wanna bring out the positivity in me that I am like squeezing out. Like you know when, the, when, when you forgot to buy toothpaste and you've got like this little bit much left and you're like squeezing it out? That's what I'm gonna do today because I'm gonna recommend books for you that are good to read for when you're down because they're just fun, light, adventure, fun, happy books, which is not my brand. So let's get right into it. Okay, listen, I lied. Not, not all of these are fun, happy, you know, yay books. And there's one YA contemporary romance because that's exactly how many I own. And let's start with that one. Let's start with that one. I know this book is a little bit divisive. I know people in Europe tend to dislike it. People in the US tend to like it. I think because people in the US are kind of obsessed with royalty and stuff. We're not to talk about Prince Andrew but anyway let's go into it and that is Red White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. Now this novel is just a cute little story about two boys falling in love and my cat is in the litter box. Penny you are ruining the mojo. We'll be right back. Thank you, Penny. So as I was saying, listen, this is like just the story of a, a clearly make-believe prince with the son of the first female president of the United States who is also half Mexican and they fall in love and it's cute. Look, there's really, I'm gonna say, there's really nothing of substance here except you just kind of smile and it's adorable and it's cuteness factor it multiplied by a thousand and it's just like that cupcake that has way too much icing in it but you eat it anyway because it you know it feels good to eat it that's it that's this book i really like it i i enjoyed it it's like i say it's nothing like oh my god guys read this and you will like get so many philosophical, no fuck that, it's just a fun, funny, romantic book to read. And you know, when you're feeling down, that's kind of what you want to read. So, yeah, red, white, and royal blue. I just realized I didn't take a thumbnail. I'll do that. Another book where it's just kind of sweet, kind of you know, adorableness, and that is The Emerald Atlas, uh, The Book of Beginnings by John Stevens. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this middle grade series, but it's about three children who were abandoned by their parents. Not abandoned, their parents died. <laughs> There's a big difference. But anyway, their parents died and they get sent away to these orphanages where people treat them really badly, and then they get adopted, but kind of not. They're like, they're sent away to another, like, home for misfit children because they keep causing trouble and it turns out that their parents were actually magicians and all of these stories that they were told are actually true and they have to work together to solve the mystery of the emerald atlas now this is actually a three book series i've only read book one and two book three took forever to come out but it's just like <sighs> we're brothers and sisters working together, magic, it, and it's so whimsical and so sweet and I just think that this is perfect for those times when you're just not feeling like anything that is going to make you feel like the world is a worse place but that is going to make you feel like the world is a better place. 
this definitely makes you feel like the world is a better place I love the character dynamics in it I love the older sister I love the younger sister the middle brother is such a little nerd that I just I love this book and I think if you're having a hard time and you don't want to read something that is really gonna like bring you down this is definitely one to pick up you know pro tip from somebody that's fairly new to booktube or youtube in general get a bunch of candler batteries because these bitches just like die on you and if i didn't have another camera battery ready at the go i would actually have to stop filming and then charge it and then come back and then it's a mess and even though things look different they wouldn't look as different as if i have to wait one hour and the sun is just somewhere else it's just a mess so pro tip get more camera batteries up next i have classics what classics monica what are you talking about but seriously sherlock holmes or well the adventures of uh sherlock holmes by arthur conan doyle all of these books are fun they're funny they're fresh they're exciting and they really make you feel like you are there solving mysteries and having a good time and also sherlock is such a fun character to read like a lot of people i think feel that these books are going to be a little bit stuffy a little bit old but honestly this was like one of the biggest surprises for me because these books i, I only have one of them here there's a bunch of them um first of all are short short stories so there's like not a lot to pack in here but they're also so much fun like it's having fun reading and that's exactly what you need when you're feeling a little bit down or at least what i need i know some people are kind of like i want to feel even more down so you know like listening to music like i want to feel even more down so i'm gonna listen to sad music that's not me so yeah all of the sherlock holmes um stories are great reads for when you're feeling down and it's so funny that they were written so long ago and yet the the, the writing style feels so fresh and new so um, I definitely recommend that you pick them up. This one is A Study in Scarlet, which is the first one that was published. But actually, I would recommend The Sign of Four, just because Sherlock Holmes is high in it all the time. <laughs> then I just think that that's hilarious. <laughs> the next classic I'm going to recommend might actually make you cry, but in a good way. And that is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I cannot explain to you how much I needed to read this book until I actually read it. It's such a wonderful way to look at life, the way these girls look at life, the way their mother helps them to deal with their emotions. It's a little bit preachy on the, you know, Christianity side, but we also have to remember when this book was written and why it's kind of preachy like that. But honestly, it's one of the best books that I've ever read and it's just like a warm hug from the inside when you just feel like you need somebody to just tell you everything's going to be okay. This book is going to tell you that everything's going to be okay. And I like that poverty is kind of a factor in this book, but it's not like extreme, you know, like it's it's that whole feeling of yeah, you might not have everything money-wise, but look at what else you have. And I think that a lot of times we forget that, especially when we're feeling down. That is something that, you know, comes with it. And in terms of, I don't want to spoil anything, but there is a character that dies in this book. And how they deal with it, how the character deals with their own death, and all of that. And how they come together as a family. It's just... Such a beautiful book, such a beautiful read, and something that I think, that I think, that I think a lot of people should read about and enjoy. And it's also like, I don't know, such a gentle, loving book. I 100% recommend this one for when you're feeling down. And I, I actually did read this when I had my first bout of depression this year, not this year, last year. And this really, really, uh, this along with this, are the books that really really got me out of that horrible moment or like not got me out of it but didn't make it worse and actually helped me feel a lot better it was like okay everything is gonna be okay in the end so yeah i definitely recommend you read this the doll maker of krakow <laughs> guys what a beautiful beautiful book what a whimsical read what a enchanting story to get your 
like emotions going but in a good way and i love how there is there there i love how there are moments of despair in this book and yet in the end you learn that the moments of despair pass and that all of the bad shit it's it's not like it's not there but the reality is that you can overcome it even the worst even the worst things that you can imagine can be overcome and i like that even though that there is a point at the end of this book where it's like everything is horrible and and you just feel so hurt and then it lifts you up again and and it's beautiful it's of course set in the the backdrop of world war ii we have a doll maker who tries to save children from nazis and i'm not gonna say what happens but it's really heartwarming touching and in the end oof, i cried a lot reading this but it was that good kind of crying of there are good people out there and there are good things that happen even through all the bad things that happen and that heroes exist in all shapes and sizes so yeah and there's um incredible uh dis disability representation in this book so i recommend that you pick this one up all right that one was a little intense so let's go to the funny side and i'm gonna recommend good omens by terry pratchett and neil gaiman this book is laugh out loud funny for me i mean i love this kind of humor this is about an angel who has a little bit of mischief to him and a demon who has a little bit of a softness to him and they are best friends and they kind of like earth they're like you know we like it here we have a great time here and then when the end of the world is supposed to come they're like do we really want the end of the world to come i don't know but they can't stop it so what they do is they try to manipulate it so that it doesn't turn into the end of the world and uh the only problem is they lose the antichrist in the process <laughs> and it's so ridiculous and funny and I just love them together i love their little shenanigans and and how like some things are so silly and they're right in their faces and the, it's just really funny i think the humor in this is more terry pratchett than neil gaiman but i think the atmosphere is more neil gaiman i don't know if that makes sense to you but um if you like any of these writers i think that this is just a fun ride and i mean um do they stop the end of the world <laughs> i don't know we're, we're, you will have to see for yourself but it's just so funny i like it because it's funny it's fun it's enjoyable it's laugh out loud and it doesn't take itself too seriously and i think that when you're down that's something that is really important something that doesn't take itself too seriously so i 100 percent recommend good omens by neil gaiman and terry pratchett okay my sci-fi pick might be a little bit controversial, but I, I couldn't not pick it. And that is Born by Jeff Vandermeer. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Like, don't you recommend that all the time? Yes, because it's my favorite book. But here's the thing. Born by Jeff Vandermeer is about hope. And it's about hope that even in the worst case scenario where you have a bear that is two stories high that can fly and is trying to destroy you you still kick butt because you believe and you hope that things will turn out okay and even when you see a monster you have the hope and the belief that you can help them realize their humanity and i think that that is so important and it's just such a beautiful book like i say it's like it really pulls on your heartstrings. It it pulls on on the idea of being a mother, of being a badass, of being a woman that doesn't give up ever. That's another thing. It just the, the main character Rachel doesn't give up. And some days I just feel like giving the fuck up and just staying in bed like today and not doing anything. And then I think like wow, like Rachel like had to go through so much and and she didn't give up so I'm gonna not give up either and I think that that's a really cool message of course I would also mention the Wayfair series but I already mentioned that and I mentioned that in every video 
but I decided to go for born in this one because sometimes you just need to remember that yeah you need to be a badass and all that but what you actually do need is a little bit of hope and hope doesn't come from the outside it comes from the inside so that's why I picked born by Jeff Vandermeer another sci-fi pick that I have is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson why did I pick Skyward by Brandon Sanderson basically it's again it has that thing that born has where it's like never fucking give up never give up and also this is just like a fun book and it's exciting and it's got like it doesn't take again doesn't take itself too seriously and it's just got this amazing growth character growth in it where you see a character that in the beginning has no hope she is down and under and then she literally rises up above everything because she makes the decision to and i'm not saying that depression by the way is cured by making the decision to cure your depression but it's just nice to read about characters that are down and under and that through hard work and through like just like not giving up they achieve something even if it's not exactly what they wanted they achieve something and i don't know it's full of whimsy i i want to say whimsy it, it, i'm sorry i think doom slog is like the best and also to see spensa the main character grow from being this angry angsty teenager to having a group of friends and and realizing that she's more than what she herself believes to be and how she learns discipline and how she learns that sometimes you can't go at it alone and that you need help from other people that is something that is awesome to read and that will hopefully lift your spirits because it definitely lifted mine when i read it so yeah a word by Brandon Sanderson. The next book I have is a fantasy book and that is The Last Wish by Andres Sikowski. Now this book is actually um, a bunch of short stories that were published later on as a complete novel. Um, this is about a, a man who is a witcher who is basically like a mutated human that fights monsters but there's not a lot of monsters left. But all that aside this book is about a person who thinks he can't feel but feels really deeply and strongly and the end of this book killed me it's so beautiful it's so heartwarming and touching and 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 to see gerald struggle with his emotions and the fact that he doesn't feel like he belongs and and yet having all of the emotions that he thinks he doesn't have or deserve for some reason is really enchanting and really lovely and it's also so action-packed that when you're feeling down again I don't want to read something like Solaris or something like Dune where it's like really like philosophical and you gotta get in it and like you gotta understand and there are parts where you're like what's going on no this is just action-packed and fun that doesn't mean that it's empty you know but definitely more on the action-packed side than on the philosophical side and it's also really impactful emotionally and that is why i recommend that you pick up the last the, the, the last <laughs> the last wish by andrej sakowski if you are not feeling your best and also the good thing is every chapter is a story so you can go through like little stories and that will also make you feel accomplished the last book i have to recommend i had to add it i can't with like a clear conscience not add this book and that is the soul of an octopus by simon Montgomery. this book you guys this book is incredible this book is about a woman who is a nature writer and she has no idea about octopuses octopuses <laughs> octopuses and she sets out to study octopuses and to write a book about them and i just learned so much respect and love for the gentleness of aquatic creatures through this book this book opened my world to aquatic creatures which are basically the most alien creatures that we have here on earth because well to us anyway because they're 
we can't live under the sea, you know? And they can't, and, and we don't understand that, and we don't understand them. And it's hard, you know? It's hard for us, and, and it just, it's so feel good, and it's so sweet to see this woman discover that and share that with you. And it's really short, and it's even shorter than it actually looks because it's only 245 pages. It's just a wonderful, feel good, beautiful story of discovery, of self-discovery and discovery for others. So yeah, I would also like to mention as a bonus her other book, How to Be a Good Creature. It's such a good book, but if I had to pick one, I would 100% go for this. And that's it, guys. Those are the books that I would pick for you guys to read if you, like me, are having a bit of a down moment at the moment, if you're not feeling your best, and well, you know, you know what? I've been like really sweet and nice in this video. I feel like I, like I, <laughs> I've been cursed like once. Have I? Let's just do it for fun. Fuck. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, I just think that this is like a video that I would like to see. A video that, you know, I would think to myself like, ugh, what can I read right now that I'm not feeling great? I hope that you guys are doing great. I hope that life is treating you well and without any further ado i bid you adieu with a reminder that i post every mondays wednesdays and fridays and that you mean so much to me and thank you for allowing me to have this platform to express myself as badly as i do <laughs> but anyway uh thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe do all that fun stuff and comment down below if you have read any of these books and they brought you any joy. And well, with that said, I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye guys.